this Monday, Labor Day, September 7th, 2015. It's kind of a little late for Labor Day. It is. It's normally like September 3rd, September 2nd. Yeah. yeah. But this year, a little bit later, I'm Stephanie Abrams, don't, joined by Dylan Dreyer this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for having me. It's always nice to be here. I'm getting used to this Monday, yeah. this Monday thing, joining you. Uh, we've got all the weather information you need to get out and enjoy the holiday, and it all starts with the top three. Okay, so let's get right to it here. We have had a stretch of 80 degree days or higher, 59 in a row. This stretch is currently tied with an old stretch set back in 1944 for the longest on record at Central Park. And the heat is going to continue. Forget the 80s, we're even approaching 90s as we go through the next couple of days. Today, though, it should hover just under 90 degrees by around 3 o'clock or so. We should be up around 88. The sun is shining bright. We have not had a whole lot of rain the last couple of days or the last couple of weeks, in fact, in the New York City area. Warm southwest, somewhat humid wind to pump in those temperatures around 10 to 20 degrees above average. We should hit into the 90s in Rochester, Pittsburgh, 91 degrees for a high today. Then tomorrow we should get back into the lower 90s in New York City. That's 15 degrees above average. So this is certainly much hotter than we're used to for this time of year. 83 is your average high in Washington, D.C., and we are going to stay above that pretty much all week long. So. Okay, so let's go to the Chicago land area. Speaking of action in Iowa, do you know that those, you know, the dumb laws that they have? A man with a mustache cannot kiss a woman in public. That's one of those dumb laws. And when you kiss just in general, it can't last for more than five minutes. A five minute long kiss is a really that's long a kiss. Long, that's a passionate kiss. Yeah, what about a beard? That's a long kiss. Beards are okay. It's mustaches that are no good. <laughs> Showers and storms here. You know, that whole kissing in the rain, very romantic. Can't say I've ever really done it. You don't want to do it with the lightning. Not so romantic when you can get those uh, storms firing up, but it's going to stay active here. So you might have another opportunity without the lightning because it's going to stay active in the Midwest because of this big trough that we have coming down from Canada. And what's happening is, is it does kind of have a negative tilt. If you follow the show, we've gone over this before. It does have a bit of a negative tilt, and these little pieces of energy are just going to drop down, another one that drop down there. But it takes a lot of this to get the whole system moving. So this week, it's actually going to stay pretty active in the Midwest. And I knew I was going to mess that up. I hit the wrong button. I absolutely despise this pixel. Um, we will see our front moving eastbound. So this is kind of our first batch. But you see this mess right up here in Canada. This is kind of our big system that takes a while to get going. Hopefully it'll take a while for you to get going today because it is a holiday. So chill, relax, enjoy it. Showers here, uh, Missouri, all the way back down into Kansas. It's going to be pretty uh, heavy. Dylan. And now we'll take you down to Austin. New York City is going to be 12 degrees above average. Rochester, New York, 17 degrees above average today with highs up near 91. And then tomorrow the heat continues to build. Washington, D.C., 94. New York, 93 degrees, even up into Boston. And Boston and Burlington temperatures will be well into the upper 80s and lower 90s with that high humidity too. So let's take you to Washington DC. The average high is only 83 degrees and we are going to stay above that pretty much all week long. Thursday it drops back down into the lower 80s or upper 80s. It'll take until about Friday, Saturday before we get into the lower 80s. All right, let's go now into St. Louis and show you how it's shaping up there. That's, that was Google, but <laughs> okay. yes, there's plenty of stuff. <laughs> the heat is providing to be no match for players at the U.S. Open. Since Thursday, more than a dozen players have retired from the tournament because of the heat. Regan Meggie is standing by in Flushing Meadows where the uh, players will battle again today. And Regan, you know, I know that they're building this retractable roof, but I feel like that kind of isn't fair. Like it, the, the weather should be part of the whole thing. I'm right there with you. It's just, it's that Labor Day kind of just drag you got going. We uh, are looking at temperatures to top out in the 90s today. Back through the Midwest, we're looking at a chance of some storms. This is a very slow moving cold front. And tomorrow it only moves into Illinois, stretches back into Oklahoma, and then eventually it fizzles out a bit. But look at how much cooler it's going to be back behind this front. Minneapolis will drop back down into the mid 70s, 60s by the time we get into Thursday. Still unsettled all across the southeast Florida. You'll see some pop-up showers and storms. The northwest, though, will 
will start to see improvements with the clouds and the dreariness that they've been dealing with lately. 66 on Saturday in Chicago, and then Sunday the 70s will take hold of the northeast and uh, stretching down into the southeast too. Coming up next, it's the peak of hurricane season. It's just days away, and a new tropical storm is churning in the Atlantic. We're keeping an eye on tropical storm Grace, which back in 1991, Grace was one third of the perfect storm, right? So right. We had Grace, yes. the nor'easter. Mm -hmm. What was the third one? I know there's three. I'm having a mental block right now. You won. Grace was one third of the perfect storm, right? So right. We had Grace, yes. the nor'easter. Mm -hmm. What was the third one? I know there's three. I'm having a mental block right now. All right, let's talk about the beaches. Many people are heading out for one last dip into the ocean as we have the unofficial end of summer Coast Guards are on a Monday morning on a holiday, everybody. Welcome. It, it's clearly a holiday. The brain is just like not functioning on all levels here. But anyway, looking at Chicago, it's 77 right now. But here's the cold front that's going to start to drop temperatures and also drop dew point temperatures. We are looking at dew points back down into the 40s and 50s. That's that cool, crisp fall like air mass that's going to start working in and that's going to make it much more fall like as we go through the next couple of days. St. Louis though it feels like anything but fall as we go through the day dew points will be on the rise. Your feels like temperature will easily make it up to 100 degrees and then some. It is going to be dangerous to spend too much time outside. A lot of barbecues, a lot of beer drinking and hot dogs. You might just want to go into the AC every once in a while and just kind of uh, refresh yourself and stay hydrated for sure. Now Minneapolis will feel like about 78 today despite a high of 80 so that that's that cooler, drier air starting to work back in. And then tomorrow, Chicago will start to cool off about 78 degrees. St. Louis still hanging on to about 91 degrees. Finally, by Wednesday, though, the heat will break once that front moves through and temperatures back down into the lower 80s. It takes a minute for this thing to get going. I mean, it's it takes slow. a while. Yes. Very, very slow. You might be feeling slow this morning because this is essentially where that big system is located and it just doesn't really want to move here. So we're going to keep following that and my graphics don't want to move. That's because they're finished. <laughs> And if my dog had arms, my dog would just sit there like this. Really? In the rain. It's just like, has no it. interest That's in always moving fun. at all. All right. Let's have a look at your morning headlines this morning. <laughs> and Hurricane Specialist Michael Lowry is in the lab tracking this and all the tropics and, and for us. Michael, I think I misspoke last time. I really thought it was three systems that caused a perfect storm. Grace, that nor'easter, and I thought there was a front that was absorbed into it, but I think that's the one that there's controversy about, if that was really true or not. Welcome back. It's half past the hour. We are live in New York. Dylan and I are just uh, talking about our I'm, shoes I'm and comparing our shoes, shoes this morning. I mean, I They're just, just like—I have been looking for a pair of red shoes. <laughs> I would say for 15 years, and I finally you found finally, a well, pair. You found the right one. Yeah, uh, a lot of people uh, were cheering on their football teams this weekend, and otherwise, in the Midwest, we're feeling the warmth. But there's a big trough. It's going to take essentially all week for this thing to get moving. But we're going to feel little pieces of energy come through. That's going to cause a storm. Little bits of cool off, but major cool offs by the end of the week. And here into the southeast, showers and storms for us, especially along the I-10 and say around the I-20 quarter. All right, let's talk about what's happening in Chicago for this weekend. Dylan. Yeah, beautiful uh, weekend to spend some time outside. And Chicago has a new 40-acre park. It opened on Friday just in time for the Labor Day weekend. Perhaps produce some larger hail, damaging wind gusts, heavier downpours. It slides to the south and east uh, through the day on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, everything sort of fizzles out, but it's just pop-up scattered showers and storms. 72 in Chicago. So we certainly will start to see things cool down. We're still in the 80s up and down the northeast on Thursday. Back through the northern plains. Uh, Billings gets back up to 80 degrees by Friday, but 63 in Minneapolis. So you'll feel that hint of fall that slides into Chicago as we start off the weekend. So even though we are uh, starting to see Labor Day, kind of the unofficial end mm -hmm. to summer, it's going to stay warm for another couple of days. Well, coming up next, beaches are going to be packed 
Thank God that guy wasn't naked because we've seen that one too many times, right? The college game, the guy runs across streaking. Um, I still need someone to explain to me why Tennessee is in the top 25. Not saying that obnoxiously. I truly want to understand. And tonight we have Ohio State, or I should say the Ohio State University at Virginia Tech. Ohio State is number one. 66 next weekend to start, start off in Chicago. Wow, we just part of the set just fell apart over here. We're good. Anyway, Sunday we're looking at a couple of scattered showers. I feel like I know. I know. You get a camera shot. Just take a camera shot of this van or this, move or what? You this whole thing just. This, that's the second time it did that. It almost took Al and I out once it's like, before. It's really heavy. It's heavy Leave it. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's legit right there. We need more than. All right, tape. a hammerhead shark bit a kayaker in the waters west of Malibu this weekend, and we're gonna head back to school also into the Richmond, Virginia area where it's gonna be hot and steamy. Nothing out of the ordinary here though, and into Virginia, ample sunshine. Also hitting the bus here into New York. Kids heading back to school Thursday. But remember how I said the temperatures are going to drop? Look at this. 90s to start off the week and the low 80s to wrap up the week. So it's going to be yumster here as we uh, end the week. St. Paul, this is the big drop. 79 on Monday, 69 down to 63 on Friday. So we drop almost 20 degrees here in just a matter of a week. And a quick look at San Diego, pretty steady eddy, which is very basic. That does it for us. Coming up next, Jen Carfagno, Jim Cantori, and Anna Rodriguez, Chris Warren, all on AMHQ. We'll see you back here tomorrow with Al at 5.